So we had an idea. Attach mic to headset. The gaming headset was born. Sounds good, right? Well, yeah, but not as good as it could. So we brought high fidelity audio to gaming. We didn't do it for the awards. We did it so you could get immersed in your games, hear bad guys better, and shit yourself when you get shot at. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. Imagine being a 90s gamer kid and these are your options. A mouse with one button. Your dad's mouse. Thanks for nothing, dad. A mouse you got free in the mail. The only consistency you had was consistently missing shots. So at SteelSeries, we got to work on improving the gaming mouse. Pixel perfect precision was finally in play. But aim isn't everything. You also need brain. We were the first to onboard an ARM chip, letting you tweak performance settings and save them to your mouse. Then we added a liftoff sensor for complete vertical control. True one-to-one -one tracking was born. Your hand equals your aim. If you suck, that's a problem we can't solve. If it's your mouse, that's one we can. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. Steel Series, we solve problems. Not climate change level problems. Sorry, future generations. Video game problems. Like when gamers communicated by taping microphones to their faces. Seriously? So we had an idea. Attach mic to headset. The gaming headset was born. Sounds good, right? Well, yeah, but not as good as it could. So we brought high fidelity audio to gaming. We didn't do it for the awards. We did it so you could get immersed in your games, hear bad guys better, and shit yourself when you get shot at. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. Imagine being a 90s gamer kid and these are your options. A mouse with one button. Your dad's mouse. Thanks for nothing, dad. A mouse you got free in the mail. The only consistency you had was consistently missing shots. So at Steel Series, we got to work on improving the gaming mouse. Pixel perfect precision was finally in play. But aim isn't everything. You also need brain. We were the first to onboard an ARM chip, letting you tweak performance settings and save them to your mouse. Then we added a liftoff sensor for complete vertical control. True one-to-one -one tracking was born. Your hand equals your aim. If you suck, that's a problem we can't solve. If it's your mouse, that's one we can. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. Steel Series, we solve problems. Not climate change level problems. Sorry, future generations. Video game problems. Like when gamers communicated by taping microphones to their faces. Seriously? So we had an idea. Attach mic to headset. The gaming headset was born. Sounds good, right? Well, yeah, but not as good as it could. So we brought high fidelity audio to gaming. We didn't do it for the awards. We did it so you could get immersed in your games, 
Cure bad guys better. And shit yourself when you get shot at. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been. Always will be. For glory. Imagine being a 90s gamer kid and these are your options. A mouse with one button. Your dad's mouse. Thanks for nothing, dad. A mouse you got free in the mail. The only consistency you had was consistently missing shots. So at SteelSeries, we got to work on improving the gaming mouse. Pixel perfect precision was finally in play. But aim isn't everything. You also need brain. We were the first to onboard an ARM chip, letting you tweak performance settings and save them to your mouse. Then we added a liftoff sensor for complete vertical control. True one-to-one -one tracking was born. Your hand equals your aim. If you suck, that's a problem we can't solve. If it's your mouse, that's one we can. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. Steel Series, we solve problems. Not climate change level problems. Sorry, future generations. Video game problems. Like when gamers communicated by taping microphones to their faces. Seriously? So we had an idea. Attach mic to headset. The gaming headset was born. Sounds good, right? Well, yeah, but not as good as it could. So we brought high fidelity audio to gaming. We didn't do it for the awards. We did it so you could get immersed in your games, hear bad guys better, and shit yourself when you get shot at. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. Imagine being a 90s gamer kid and these are your options. A mouse with one button. Your dad's mouse. Thanks for nothing, dad. A mouse you got free in the mail. The only consistency you had was consistently missing shots. So at Steel Series, we got to work on improving the gaming mouse. Pixel perfect precision was finally in play. But aim isn't everything. You also need brain. We were the first to onboard an ARM chip, letting you tweak performance settings and save them to your mouse. Then we added a liftoff sensor for complete vertical control. True one-to-one -one tracking was born. Your hand equals your aim. If you suck, that's a problem we can't solve. If it's your mouse, that's one we can. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. Steel Series, we solve problems. Not climate change level problems. Sorry, future generations. Video game problems. Like when gamers communicated by taping microphones to their faces. Seriously? So we had an idea. Attach mic to headset. The gaming headset was born. Sounds good, right? Well, yeah, but not as good as it could. So we brought high fidelity audio to gaming. We didn't do it for the awards. We did it so you could get immersed in your games, hear bad guys better, and shit yourself when you get shot at. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory.
Imagine being a 90s gamer kid and these are your options. A mouse with one button. Your dad's mouse. Thanks for nothing, dad. A mouse you got free in the mail. The only consistency you had was consistently missing shots. So at SteelSeries, we got to work on improving the gaming mouse. Pixel perfect precision was finally in play. But aim isn't everything. You also need brain. We were the first to onboard an ARM chip, letting you tweak performance settings and save them to your mouse. Then we added a liftoff sensor for complete vertical control. True one-to-one -one tracking was born. Your hand equals your aim. If you suck, that's a problem we can't solve. If it's your mouse, that's one we can. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. SteelSeries, we solve problems. Not climate change level problems. Sorry, future generations. Video game problems. Like when gamers communicated by taping microphones to their faces. Seriously? So we had an idea. Attach mic to headset. The gaming headset was born. Sounds good, right? Well, yeah, but not as good as it could. So we brought high fidelity audio to gaming. We didn't do it for the awards. We did it so you could get immersed in your games, hear bad guys better, and shit yourself when you get shot at. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. Imagine being a 90s gamer kid and these are your options. A mouse with one button. Your dad's mouse. Thanks for nothing, dad. A mouse you got free in the mail. The only consistency you had was consistently missing shots. So at SteelSeries, we got to work on improving the gaming mouse. Pixel perfect precision was finally in play. But aim isn't everything. You also need brain. We were the first to onboard an ARM chip, letting you tweak performance settings and save them to your mouse. Then we added a liftoff sensor for complete vertical control. True one-to-one -one tracking was born. Your hand equals your aim. If you suck, that's a problem we can't solve. If it's your mouse, that's one we can. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. At SteelSeries, we solve problems. Not climate change level problems. Sorry, future generations. Video game problems. Like when gamers communicated by taping microphones to their faces. Seriously? So we had an idea. Attach mic to headset. The gaming headset was born. Sounds good, right? Well, yeah, but not as good as it could. So we brought high fidelity audio to gaming. We didn't do it for the awards. We did it so you could get immersed in your games, hear bad guys better, and shit yourself when you get shot at. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. Imagine being a 90s gamer kid and these are your options. A mouse with one button. Your dad's mouse. Thanks for nothing, dad. A mouse you got free in the mail. The only consistency you had was consistently missing shots. So at SteelSeries, we got to work on improving the gaming mouse. 
pixel-perfect precision was finally in play. But aim isn't everything, you also need brain. We were the first to onboard an ARM chip, letting you tweak performance settings and save them to your mouse. Then we added a liftoff sensor for complete vertical control. True one-to-one -one tracking was born. Your hand equals your aim. If you suck, that's a problem we can't solve. If it's your mouse, that's one we can. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. SteelSeries, we solve problems. Not climate change level problems. Sorry, future generations. Video game problems. Like when gamers communicated by taping microphones to their faces. Seriously? So we had an idea. Attach mic to headset. The gaming headset was born. Sounds good, right? Well, yeah, but not as good as it could. So we brought high fidelity audio to gaming. We didn't do it for the awards. We did it so you could get immersed in your games, hear bad guys better, and shit yourself when you get shot at. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. Imagine being a 90s gamer kid and these are your options. A mouse with one button. Your dad's mouse. Thanks for nothing, dad. A mouse you got free in the mail. The only consistency you had was consistently missing shots. So at SteelSeries, we got to work on improving the gaming mouse. Pixel perfect precision. These are those moments I don't think anybody else is going to forget. And we're back with more IEM Fall 2021 action. Kami nga pala ang official Filipino broadcast brought to you by Focus Fire Gaming. And ako nga pala si Sneak Frog. Kasama ko si Ray. Before anything else, guys, uh, magkuplag muna kami. Wait lang. I had to pause to sneeze. Pero, you know, I'm allergic to really good deals. Kasi the arm Focus code sa Shopee. 10% off sa the Armory lahat ng items doon. So, if gusto niyo mag-cop ng mga... You know, uh, hoodies, hats, shirts na you know, offer dito ng The Armory. Make sure to use our code DRFOCUS nga for 10% off. And for your betting needs, PM nyo lang ang Focus Fire Gaming page and sila na nga ang bahala sa inyo doon. But, yun na nga. Tap tapos na lahat ng plug. And we are gonna go straight into the matchup that we have today. Vitality versus NIP pa nga. Yun pa nga ang na padparan natin today and one of the better matchups that we have dito sa ating semifinals is actually one of the more stacked ones and yeah i'm i'm really hyped kasi not gonna lie di ko talaga alam kung sino ang mananalo dito kasi both of these teams 
you know, are in really good form sa jang uh, na, na kung nagita nyo nga yung record ng Vitality, they do have that uh, you know odd loss to Ents kasi Ents is just too good guys, you know. It's, come on, come on guys. Kaya yeah, nato bias caster. Pero, uh, na, but other than that, I think Vitality is in a really good you know streak pagdating nga dito sa kanilang match. So Ray, what do you think is gonna happen dito? Oh, I'm a big fan of uh, both of the teams, pero kala syempre, I put my trust kasi guys, gusto ko mag Astralis versus NIP. Sobrang impossible yon. Kinda, mga 10% lang yung chance na magiging ganun ang mga pangyayari. Pero kung ako lang naman, kung isa lang naman ang wish ko sa buhay ay maglaban ulit sila. But uh, for the side here, I think the Team Vitality, ito lang yun. Kapag hindi maganda yung start ng Team Vitality ng uh, first uh, few games, sa tingin ko sobrang downfall yung mangyayari sa kanila. But again, they're gonna go up against NIP na ang dami pang uh, kailangan improvement. And let's see if... Uh, this is gonna be um, a vitality matchup. Mm-hmm. And our first map is looking like it's a nuke already. And NIP, they love this map. But sometimes, they can But vitality, I'm really, I really think that the vitality dito is they'd rather ban you ibang maps dito ng NIP. But never mind, Apex with a 3k already. Start pa lang ng best of three and mainit na ang loadin nyo. And 4v2, Hampus and Device. Device is gonna get taken down by Kyojin dito sa labas. And I think it's just gonna be Vitality running over NIP dito sa first round. And really well played. Garing dito kay Apex. Yes, the Apex dito siya natitilt sa online. <laughs> eh, dito siya natitilt. So I'm really happy to see him na ganto. But on the side of NIP, kapag sila talaga na-destruct sila ng uh, Team Vitality sa CT side ng... Uh, Team Vitality sa tingin ko talaga sobrang punish na ng NIP. But as of now, they will be forcing some Tech Nines and Digs. And of course, Scout coming from Hampus. How will they be able to stand up coming from this? Pero sa roster nila, looks promising ba sa'yo? Sneaky, ang roster ng NIP. Yeah, of course. I mean, itong si Rez has improved so much for the past few years that naiging parang second franchise player na siya ng NIP just behind Device. So... Really nice to see how he, this kid's journey is coming into fruition. And ito na rin si Hampus, you know, popping off, pushing first para dito sa NIP. So, really nice to see. I think NIP does have a really good roster. Aww. So, yeah, looking forward to it. But Vitality, I mean, peaks and valleys yung kwento ng roster nila ngayon. But Zaibu is always at his peak. That is the number one player for a reason. Pero Apex, magahanap ng mga picks dito. It's gonna be above ladder. One's gonna be shot outside. Dal dito kay Shocks, I think. Yep, Shocks with the MP9. Plus 600 para sa kanya. NIP Deagle. A Tech Nine and a CZ. Unless, uh, maganda talaga yung push na dito. Para si Misuta. He has a really cheeky angle. Dito sa my Raptors and LNZ is gonna get taken down. Zaiwu is gonna finish it off. And a good first two rounds para dito sa Vitality and NIP. He actually forced it on second round, so they're gonna be broke. He does a third. And from this uh, NIP looking uh, as a form naman sila, pero yung Vitality kung 100% ang NIP. Tin ko how Team Vitality moves right now. They're at their 120%, pero kailan talaga ng NIP to come up with another stat on their T side kasi usually kapag napapanood natin sila in nook on their N on their T side, napakadaming mishaps ng team na ito. But the consistency itself nandiyan naman ayon, pero syempre mga tito mo ng Vitality. Ano yan? Palong-palo yan. And it's going to be depending also on how all of them will be pop off and speaking of apex na naman gets device punish na naman ng mga miyembro ng NIP pero kitang kita mo naman kasi na empty handed sila mm -hmm. and we have to consider as well this is apex on land so he feels at home dito sa mga PCs that are not in their boot camp and or in a room na is isolated from the enemy team so I think medyo may advantage na ang mga tropa natin sa Vitality just in terms of experience and Apex. Experience indeed! Kasi nakakuha na siya ng dalawa dito sa labas. And yun na nga, stuck dito sa red. Ang dalawang members ng NIP Apex is gonna get hampo si Rez na lang with that Deagle is gonna get that double shot kay Shox. But nothing more. 3-0 Vitality. 
And really nice start. Gun round though para dito sa NIP. This is now their chance na makabawi dito sa Vitality. And I'm not sure kung mag up pa ba dito si... I'm not sure kung mag up na dito si Zai Wu, But one of their teammates did die. So baka itadrop lang yung M4 for that up. No. Full... Uh, full... Uh, I won't say full rifles. It's uh, four rifles and the MP9. Then clapping up. So interesting galing dito sa Vitality. Mm. Wala pa rin. Pero at least kahit wala naman ata, parang palong-palong sila ngayon. Pero ngayon, NIP with it all. AK by as what we've seen, diba? Sobrang effective sa T-side nila to. Pero nga lang, you're gonna go up against Vitality and Zaiwoo gets device. Pero Plopski will be able to trade his teammate. Maybe a chance of NIP to actually cross up until secret. But they just need to take care of Apex. It's watching all over them. Pero mukhang may pag-asa nga siya na makakuha ng frags. They want to take Apex. If they be able to take out at least Apex, this might be possible. Pero na-think nga si Resin is down to 19 HP. <gasps> oh, yun lang. Plopski committing to the spray did not work out para sa kanya. Sox is gonna get res. And the perfect outside control para dito kay Apex. That is just a, the best example that you can get. Karing sa kanya, he's just giving NIP a little bit of control but not enough na makapasok sila dito sa ace site. And Hampus and LNZ na lang natitira. Hampus is kinda stuck dito sa may vent area and he's gonna get spotted. By one of the members, the taps are about to come in, and you already know M4 A1S na tama at tama talaga yan. And Kyojin with a cheeky headshot, and mukhang mainit ang vitality dito sa first half. And uh, is this gonna ring the same para sa NIP? Parang na, naiisip ko na naman yung ancient game nila. <laughs> tama ka dyan, uh, Nigi. At least, uh, kala ko mag improve na talaga sila sa Nook, pero kapag team vitality, kasi sa kalabad mo dito, sobrang... It's gonna be a really uh, Goliath talaga yung team na kakalabanin mo dito. But on the side of NRP, we still have uh, a hope for them. But if it's going to be a 6-0 na Vitality, um, still, um, tapos wala pa nakukuha ng round ng NIP, I think this is going to be a one-sided first half in favor of Vitality. Tapos, ang ganda pa ng T-side nila. They're actually a team that has a that is quite uh, well balanced when it comes to this. So NIP talaga, they need to come up. They need to step up more. And uh, hello, Rez. At kay uh, Plopski talaga ako nag... Uh, Nagdidepende. Or, and hampus nga para siya, pwede ko makakalimutan yan. So kalahan pa talaga nila mag-stand up for their teammates. Mm -hmm. And NIP only with upgraded pistols. Sayo nila pumasok dito sa ace site. Kyojin is gonna adjust around. Pero nandito si Apex. Nasa rafters na pala instead of outside. And Kyojin is just gonna shoot them down. Upgraded pistols lang naman ang NIP dito. And Zaiwu is gonna finish it off. 5-0 start. Rough para dito sa NIP. But now they get to buy an Apex. A bit hype. Pero the rest of the squad is pretty quiet. Not gonna lie. Oh, ano talaga? Wala pa eh. Wala pang pitik yung NIP. So, it's really uh, giving them a lot of struggle as they want to get against Team Vitality. Wala talagang, di na go up yung uh, Team Vitality. Quiet, ano ah. Quiet, uh, okay lang naman. I mean, palong-palo naman sila. But do you think uh, kailangan nila mag-up talaga going up against NIP? Mm -hmm. I think... Yeah, I think para sa Vitality, they still need to get that AWP, especially to kay Zaiwu. But Apex once again, oh. nakahanap ng pick dito sa labas. And this is dangerous para sa side ng NIP. Because pag mainit to si Apex, he's gonna start to lurk and he's gonna start to find those picks para makakuha ng 5v4 agad ang Vitality dito. And if that streak continues, NIP, you're not in a good spot at all. Pero Vitality, no up pa rin. So, Zaiwu... I think inaantay lang nila at this point na mamatay si Zaiwo, then he can get that reset. He'll probably play secret or itong ramp or outside. Depende talaga sa kanya. Eh. And Zaiwo with a really good angle dito sa garage. Covered na yung entrance dito ng main. So if ever may magka-cross dito galing sa side ng Vitality or rather sa NIP, that would be really bad news para sa kanila. That's the up already down para dito kay Device but the double swing galing sa NIP. Almost lining up para dito kay Zaiwu. Oh, yeah. Almost lang, almost. Pero Shox, you have to look behind you. Meron na palang tao. What a good reaction galing dito kay Shox. Napakaganda. And Vitality just taking over dito sa mapa na to. 30 seconds left. Flash sa harap ng A. Bulag 
Walang members ng NIP, LNZ though with the kill, Kyojin committing to the spray, but LNZ with a quick triple, teka lang, naging 1v1 bigla. And Apex, oh! Apex is a mad lad, probably parang Viking Berserker just running through the flame. That's the least expected. <laughs> if the LNG is like, what? <laughs> what just happened? Oh, oh my god. Did you what? I don't know. Why did you say that? Why did you say that? Did you say that? Did you say that? Did you say that? Oh, that's a tilter. That's a tilter too. I mean, you, you just have to take it in the chin, man. Because that win is oh, the most unexpected yeah. play coming here from Apex and NIP. <laughs> I mean, they can half buy, but their no. economy is not looking too good. I think uh, you don't want that to happen. Just like oh, I think they want. Okay, serious, because viable naman talaga para sa kanya bumili ng AK. But on the side on Team Vitality, alam mo na eh, pag kumagawa ng ganong play on Team Vitality at ang asim na Apex, 14-1? What? <laughs> is it 14-1? So... Grabe, walang words kay Apex ngayon. Hard ca hindi siya hard carry. Lahat sila palong-palo. But uh, mas palong-palo lang. Si Apex, he's at... Uh, he's 214 right ADR now. as well. Jesus. Uh, oh, oh, but Hampus oh, though. Oh, yun ang ang hinahanap natin galing kay Hampus. That aggression. But Apex. Uy, Apex. Going to the smoke. Nakita ng isa. No, Rez is gonna take him down. Akala ko multiple kills yan para sa kanya. But the reaction is too fast. And Misuta... Gonna fall dito sa P. He's gonna use the rafters. Mago off angle ba siya dito para sa double doors? Or is he just gonna stick inside the corner? And as soon as that door opens, the shots will now start flying. Shocks getting you AK player that's res down and they're recovering at the Hampus at the LNZ yung mga M4A1S dito. Oh. So, pero na silang power, at least in terms of rifling, pero utility, not so much. Zero, nada at all. Meanwhile, Ang vitality don't even need the utility at all. Mako push tanga dito ng NIP sa side. Hampus with the taps. And yun dang si Shaks pala ang makatama dito. 7 0 for vitality. And this CT side, it really hurts. Para dito sa NIP. Oh, yeah. I think uh, sobrang struggling, struggling ang NIP. And uh, imagine just Misuta watching all over them come one by one. And yep, it, the fact that it's not going to be si, si Apex, alam mo na eh. and si device ay nako po. Uh, it's not going to be a good thing. 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 It's not Oh no, he's doing it too. Oh no, <laughs> double agent. Or rather, ano pala? <laughs> James Bond. Oh my god, 007. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but, sorry for laughing, guys, but you know, you know hey, we've, this, I've been through that, man. I've been through that. Don't worry. Hey, this is uh, this is an NIP pick here in Nook. So, bakit mo yung pinili Nook? Okay, sige, sige. I mean, yeah. I mean, they oh, have yeah. a high win rate dito sa Nook. Okay. So, you can't really blame them, but that... for skill, yun na nga, baka may start na dito yung NIP. This round is very important. Sobrang uh, momentum up yan. Kahit baka lima lang NIP eh, di ba? Sobrang baganda na para sa kanila. And speaking of, that will be... Uh, this round is... Yun nga, that may be the game changer that we have as Hapus uh, takes Apex. And device right behind. Ito na, mapakainit niya but Kyojin gets the trade. It's a 4v2. Kulang na, kulang na sa utilities din ang uh, vitality. Unless if may gagawin si shocks Pero wala nga nangyari. Kyojin na lang. And I think that's over. Para dito sa vitality, and that's gonna be the first round. Seven one. Finally, after sa isang napakalaking streak dito sa first half, Hampus and the boys nagentry na sila dito sa may ramp area, looking for those picks. Nahanap ka nila and vitality. No op just yet. So hindi talaga pinapa op dito si Zaiwu sa nuke. They're really trying to find yung mga long range fights with only those M4A1Ss and grabe yung vitality. New meta na talaga. All of them have the M4A1S. <laughs> ano pa yun, no? Lahat pa sila ngayon. May tutok. Alam mo yun? La land buff. Pero at the same time, may suta with that hold. Yan ang sinasabi ko. He's playing it very tricky. He gets Hampus and that's really important. You take off Hampus, then NIP might be struggling a, a lot unless the device 
Makakapit na siya ngayon sa may secret going up against Apex. Pero if he'll be Oh, the spread. Oh. Ah, yun lang. Oh. Apex uses uses Oh, uh, no way he lives that. <laughs> what? Ano nangyari sa akin doon? <laughs> Pero to as they go in Ward this door. Si Shock sa ganda ng pwesta niya. Pero meron pa ring Moli eh. Di na lang ng pop flash ni Kyo din dito. Yo, yung uh, sige, okay na si Di na lang Minoli yung behind this pero nga lang as they go in the hamming frogs oh, okay, the frogs are not even going to get out that's what I'm talking about they need to shift everything that Rez gets a frog and device takes Zaiwu 2v2 we have two pop flash puro flash lang ang babato yun nalaga against Vitality and Popski goes with the plant with this retake will it be possible and now Apex tries to get him it's going to be a 1v1 oh gets it ah oh, yun na medyo Hindi na siya nagpa-facepalm na, ayan, ngumiti na si Device. <laughs> ayan lang. A, a, a bit of a misplay galing dito sa A-site, not gonna lie. Medyo natagalan yata sa flash itong si Kyojin when he got shot initially. Inuna niya yung Molly actually instead. So, yeah, a bit of uh, decision-making errors lang galing sa side ng Vitality. But, yeah, Deagle para kay Zaibu, MP9 for Misuta. Not the best news para sa economy dito ng Vitality and NIV. You know, five AKs, they saved it from the last round. Or rather, you know, the two people that like saved it in the last round didn't drop on them probably the teammates. So it's Zaiwu's turn to make a pick here in the outside. And Plopski, he found a pick here by Misuta. That is really nice. They get control of ramp, I think, if they don't ro rotate the players here. So it's only going to be shocks here in my ramp area. And Zaiwu, if you can find one here in the it would be a really nice bonus for Vitality. Mm. Vitality. Paano sila gagalo? Tignan mo, no? Just one round na matatalo ang Vitality. Yung Papa Force talaga silang mag-eco dahil nga ang expensive sa city side. But as you can see, if they will be able to take Kyojin, then this might be a round for the side of NIP as they want to go in. And speaking of, Zaiwu! What? He can tell and see. But in a lot of flops, he will be able to get him. But Shox gets two. This is pretty big. Oh Go my god, Zaiwu. Ay, nako po. Zaiwu with a dig. Doon lang. Tatumpa sila. Oh. And they put behind the scene. Uh, Kala ko, Nangat. parang mura sa Pilipino. Angry French noises ang ginawa doon ni Apex. <laughs> Pero, this is a really good two-man play. Galing kay Zaiwu. And guy, who was the guy playing side again? He, he just died instantly. But he, he served as a distraction. No, habang we know one dig desirable ang mga members dito ng NIP, and I think uh, that was Kyojin actually and the site. Uh, kind of kind of delaying lang. I mean, ganda ng cover to ni Zaibu, no? That first one dig really mm. kind of saved yung life to Kyojin before the rest of NIP went in. Pero inanga na ubus yung NIP don trying to get into the site dito sa A in a chokehold and. Vitality with a really good reaction, especially Kai Shock's really quick rotation galing sa kanya to avoid that 1v1v1. And NIP, unfortunately, are back on the broken rifles. Uh, meron yata ang AKC device. Oh, no, an AWP. A whole AWP para dito kay device. So, this is a really big buy para sa NIP. So, if they lose this, yeah, bad economy para sa kanila. Pero, uy, pag panalo sila dito, Vitality... They also have a pretty bad economy, not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <clears throat> kulang kulang yung kanilang utilities, pero, kahit kasi midan, hindi sila nagtatap, palong palo si, palong palo si, yung mga miembro nila, but device, he gets Zywood, this is pretty big, and Hapus gets there of Apex, alam na nila usually kung sa't pumupot yung mga miembro ng Vitality, kaya sabi nila this time, we need to up it, pero, ang aggressive ni device, <laughs> Ayun na nga eh. Alam mo na, sneaky. Gagat na si Device. Ooh. Kapag he's being aggressive, he, will he be able to take him out? Nope. He gets tagged kasi 12 HP and a dream. And ngayon, the Shocks will be getting him. Oh. And Yoshi eliminates Hapus. But Therese will be getting that together with a 2K. And Plopski with a nade. And that's pretty big. Sabi ko nga, if only NIP will be taking a 5 out of... Um, Vitality here in the first half then it's pretty big na malaking malaking na talaga yung magiging step up nila pero kailangan talaga nila to sariin ng maayos kasi ang dami pa rin nilang mistakes so just by at least one guy or two guys coming in from heaven na nakaka-pick up sila ng isa or dalawa sa NIP eh mm -hmm. and 
para naman dito sa vitality. I think it's a mistake na hindi sila naglagay ng tao dito sa labas, especially to challenge itong si Device on that AWP. And the only reason why Device was walked up that far kasi nga walang tao dito sa garage. And I think nag-risk medyo yung vitality doon trying to congregate yung mga ibang members nila dito sa my ramp area. I think in expect nila that it would be a hard ramp take galing sa side ng NIP. But little misread and little punish lang galing sa NIP. Very easy time para sa kanila. But B site is gonna be taken here para sa NIP. Pero lalaban pa yata ang vitality dito. They're gonna try to play really close quarters with these pistols and tignan natin. Nga lang, Hampus. Pretty big coming in from him once he gets Zaiwu. Pero kapag si Zaiwu pa ang nakapitas, sobrang magiging masakit to sa side ng NIP. But uh, right now, they have a lot of utilities that they can just blind Miss Yuta together with Zaiwu. And they're just taking their time. He tries to spray in. That's, uh, Wala pa naman. Interesting one, Zang. Uh, Actually, taas mo lang ng konti. <laughs> taas mo Ayon. lang ng konti. Oh, no. Yun lang. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I guess NIP win. <laughs> Akala ko talaga that would go really, really well para sa side of Vitality considering na ang ganda ng angle dun ni Zaibo. Pero, wala eh. Sagasaan sila agad. Ah... Uh... Pero kung nakuha niyo yung wall bang, siguro they got too distracted din siguro. I mean, di naman nila iniwasan, but uh, you know what? Uh, Pero minsan, you're gonna be hearing a lot then biglang sa isa na lang pumunta ang NIP. Apex is thinking that he'll might be able to at least get one, pero walang pumunta sa side niya. Iniiwasan nila dahil wala din sila information as to where he is. And uh, he's gonna be saving it or sasama kaya siya. Hindi na, hindi na. Save na lang nila to. Yep. But, and this is, uh, yun ang sinasabi ko. NIP, just one round will definitely be a game changer sa side nila. But uh, looks like I just want to give a big shout out sa 765 na nanonood ngayon sa YouTube. And sa 60 na nanonood sa Facebook. So, shout out sa inyo. Dami nanonood ah. Sa, kung sana kung umarunong man lang, kung marunong sila na makaintindi ng Taglish, siguro ito na yung oras mm, para matuto na sila mag-Filipino. <laughs> I think, uh, to be honest, the, I think the reason why we have so many viewers is because I think we actually na nasa recommended tayo. So shout oh. out to the algorithm, <laughs> shout out to <laughs> YouTube algorithm na ini include na tayo. And na hit ako sa COVID pinsan ngayon ngayon lang nila na di discover na ah meron palang Filipino coverage ang IM Paul. So guys, like uh, like and share, share with your friends na meron palang tayong Filipino coverage dito. But back to the game, Hampus first kill dito kay Zaibu. 57 HP na lang siya. He might die if he does run into another member dito. And yun na nga ang mangyayari oh. sa akin niya. Misuta with a really good coverage dito sa labas. And he's gonna go back inside trying to retrieve that AK. Pero meron pa lang device na nakapantay doon. Molotov is gonna come out. Napakadaming dig. Yojin is gonna get flopped with that USP. Tamang jiggle peek lang. LNZ, you might be next. Apex with a CZ75. LNZ, nawala pa ng bala dito. Uy, napakadaming dig naman. Apex. With a really good shot, five bullets along with that CZ making it a 1v1, and this is a possibility. Pag nakuha niya yung dick dito kay device, pwede pang mangyari to. The swing, ano yun nga? That is an eco para dito sa vitality, and what a beast of a play with only USPs. Ay, nako po. Uh, sabi ko na nga, alam mo, when Apex is the last guy you standing, you all know that it's gonna be favoring him so much. And imagine, he takes down LNZ. Nakakuha pa siya ng AK. He knows where device is gonna be coming. And that spray down itself. Ay, dako. And I see what is happening. Pero still, 9-4. Makakapag-force pa rin naman sila ng mga AKs. No up this time around. But Zaibu, big question. Because Vitality will be bringing up na ang kanilang op. Malaming possibilities to just to take down NIB. Mm -hmm. And the flash on the ground para dito sa mga magtatapon na mga grenades papunta dito sa site. Additional flash lang just in case na kailangan nila. And it seems like NIB is going for an A set. 
And the A set is about to happen. Molotovs are gonna start flying. Limang flashes papuntang site. Plopski. Bulag ta bulag dito si Shox. Hindi siya makita. But Shox, he's in a really good corner. Yun lang hanggang tag lang ang ginawa na dito. But Pesuta is gonna finish two off. Zaiwu with an AWP. He gets res. Now it's a 1v2. Hampus na lang natitira. With that AK 47. Well, last yung utility whatsoever. He has to worry about two angles. Meron isang tao dito sa taas and meron isang tao dito sa baba. The first peak is gonna come out. Pero Misuta with a really good coverage and despite the sangkatutak na flash na tinapon dito ng NIP sa site, hindi pa rin nila makuha. Ninit na mga miyembro ng Vitality. Sobrang scary nila talaga ngayon. I mean, all of them are really doing the work. Especially with how Apex gets the crucial rounds. Sobrang laking... Momentum yun eh. Tignan mo, parang mananapak na nga si Apex eh. But on the other side, I mean on the last round, Iko round ng NIP, 11-4. Oh, sobrang, sobrang sakit makita to. Pero still, it's NIP. They can still make a good comeback syempre sa kanilang CT side. Mm -hmm. And NIP, mukhang mag-force by na lang sila dito sa last round of the half. Wala na rin silang pera. They did buy a lot of weapons and utilities sa last round nila para dun sa set. And it did not work out. Misuta with an AK-47. Masaspatan siya ng limang NIP members dito. Molotov papuntang ramp. Hindi pa sila makakatalon. Possibility of going into A is still pretty high. Galing sa kanila. Plopski trying to get some space. Dito sa my locker room. Papunta sa ladder. But Misuta with a really good angle. Pag hindi siya ma-prefire dito ng NIP then this is A-OK -okay. pero wala pang flash still ready and waiting nagaantay sila ng overextension galing dito sa side ng Vitality pero may nakatingin dito sa taas and Plopski if you look down at the wrong time then this could be trouble for you pero yun lang hindi pala ganun kalalim ang angle ni Kyojin pero device is gonna get Misuta Apex getting one with his fire and Zaiwu AWP shot taking down one, pero Apex na andito sa control room and seems like he's gonna control B with this M for A1S and silence is the key. 11 to 4 Vitality with a good first half. Good vibes coming in from Vitality. I mean, compared to the other games, nang kinastaten sila ngayon talaga, they're so different. All of them has their own style, but we gotta give it to Apex talaga. Maybe there were two rounds that it's gonna be depending on him, and he got a lot of clutches. Tapos sa NIP ngayon, they are just all denied. But on, it's on their T-side. So, ako pa rin, I'm still thinking na maybe magiging dikit pa ang laban going up against Vitality. Pero ikaw, sa tingin mo ba ba kahawal pa ang NIP? I think so. I think so. I mean, itong NIP, maganda naman ako nalang sa T-side. I did say this before, but, you know, it still rings true na maganda naman talaga ang CT side ng NIP. All they have to do is to get, not even get it on pistol round. They, they just have to get the rounds after yung pistol round and maybe they can get their swing back into the game. Pero vitality, you should not underestimate yung T-side nila kasi, and, you know, aggression is gonna get, uh, al, al, ma-allow yung aggression dito ng vitality. Salamat dito kay Apex. And him being on fire dito sa first half could be a little bit of trouble para dito sa NIP considering that Apex will be literally the first guy into the site pag, uh, pagdating nga sa mga sets and I think Yojin and Misuta they're doing you know their jobs di, di yung di sila yung nagtatap rag pero they're they're doing what they need to do para dito sa Vitality and it seems like they're doing their role well and kita mo naman ng mga ibang members of Vitality Shox and Zaiwu doing their usual thing you know getting those crazy frags getting those crazy clutches pero Apex talaga ang star of the show dito sa first half and ito yung ano no ito yung thing with Apex sometimes you know, making quiet siya, but he's gonna have one of those games when it matters. Parang, you know, either sa Nuke or sa Ancient or sa Vertigo, kung ano man mapa that is not usually played. Apex, he knows how to exploit yung mga, you know, yung mga gaps ng defense dito ng NIP. So, I mean, let's see. NIP, I mean, you guys have a really good defending side din naman. Alam niyo namang uh, itong si Device, he has the AWP and the uh, Hampus, Rez, you know, everyone can rifle really, really well. It, I think ngayon, it will be down to positioning para sa NIP on how they prevent yung mga push ng Vitality from taking over too quick.
sa mga spots na kailangan talaga ng control para sa NIT. And also, kapag uh, team vitality naman din kasi under LAN, so kapag online, alam mo, marami talaga silang pagkakamali. Pero I think the comms, it's perfect. Kita mo naman yung stand talaga ni Apex. But on the other side naman, NIT, um, pag dilagay mo talaga sila sa alanganing situation, especially on their T side in a map such as Nook, I do think they're struggling. But the fact that they picked this, I'm sure they have that confidence. Sa mga nagtatanong, what's gonna be the next map? It's in Overpass. So, it's a different uh, play once again. But when it comes to the map, Vito's, sobrang digit lang nito eh. But, uh, tatandaan nyo, it's gonna be a change of colors talaga kapag uh, we're gonna be playing in Nook. But I still trust NIP that they can still get this. If they have a good if parating mo mapapunish si Apex kasi mainit na siya ngayon and you're just gonna be denying him from all his creativity, may chance talaga ang NIP. But we gotta leave it to this, guys. I'm trusting Rez, of course, together with Device. They still have a lot of what it takes to get this. But uh, kailangan lang talaga nilang uh, mag-step up. Yun lang naman ang kailangan nila. At, at least, di ba, sneaky on the second half sila nasa CT. And hindi pa naman nila labas ng NIP ang kanilang bagong double offset up. So maybe they could pull out dito sa kanilang city side. Bago sa lahat, shoutout sa iyo, Jeremy Il Barameda. And ikakastig rin po ba ang Astralis versus Ents? I don't know. I didn't look at the schedule actually. Kung yung second game natin. So uh, I think so. I think so. Yun yata yung ikakast. And if hindi, I'd be very, very disappointed. Not gonna lie kasi... Oh no, it's... Wow! Okay, direct. Grabe naman si direct. Nakita ko yung schedule. I ko yung schedule, Ray. Nakalagay mm -hmm. Astralis versus G2, man. Come on. And the haters are everywhere, man. Grabe talaga. <laughs> Pero Vitality, <laughs> though, Grabe getting destroyed <laughs> with the nades. <laughs> All jokes aside, though. Uy, nakaduulis dito si Rez. He can do some... He can do some heavy damage with this. Pero dapat mahanap na si Aethos. Ayun lang. <laughs> Ay, nako po. Kita niya si Apex. And, oh, may sutag. Seize LNG. Bot shocks. <laughs> Tamalit ko na lang. Ah, I'm gonna play with you. Oh, yan yung skin. Kanina skin yun yung puti. Kanina yun. Maganda. It's a really good skin indeed. Pero, oh, okay. by fatality okay. though, meron silang control ng peace site. I have no idea how. 4VT ang situation dito. Kyojin, you're gonna have to get the kill. And Plopsy is gonna go down. Rez with the duel. He's still doing it work. Suta. Kung mahanap po si Rez dito, then that'll be big. Pero Rez with a one-tap! How do you one-tap with the Dewey's? I have, I have no idea, pero Zaiwoo still... Pwede pang mangyari to. He's gonna spam through the smoke with the clock and magsispam na rin si Hampus. One bullet and a dream! Wait! Wala pa ng pala dito si... Oh no! Nawala pa ng pala si Zaiwoo. 18 HP and one-tap na lang and... Itong si Hampus nagde-defuse the smoke. There's bullets whizzing past him, but it doesn't matter. NIP off of a ninja defuse, really well played from both sides, but it ends with NIP winning. Oh, kinabahan ako doon. Buti na lang, sinis pa mali. Zaibu, you always need to look naman sa inyong kanad. Sa right side, hindi nyo na-spam, sayang. But ito, ikakast nyo rin po ba Astralis vs. Ents? Yep, si Kenneth at si Echo ang magkakast din. So make sure to support them. Also, big shoutouts din nga pala kay Leno na Solis. Talo na ba Navi? Di sila talo, guys. <laughs> Mga, I, I don't think they're even here. <laughs> wala sila dito, guys. Wala, wala, wala. Ibang ano to. Nasa, ma nasa major sila. You'll see them in the major. I think <laughs> nagre-rest pa sila ng onte Considering nakakatapos. Natutulog lang si ng... Simple at nagpapabuhat yeah. sa kabilang bang-bang. He's in his hyperbolic time chamber, bro. Parang <laughs> parang Dragon Ball Z lang yan. You know, nasa loob siya. Ng... He's healing. Kasi nga natalo sila sa gambit, no? Like, that's a really big heartbreaker para dito sa... Right, para sa Navi. Pero... It's still a big threat to Major, not gonna lie. Their team is really, really well structured, so you won't have to underestimate ang Navi, but Gabit is gonna be a team to watch out for rin dito sa Major. Pero device, mapapush na yata dito ng mga Vitality members, and they're gonna go fast into the site, and yun lang Zai was gonna get the kill instantly dito sa dalawang members, and even killing his teammate. Yun lang. Too bloodthirsty dito si Zaibu. Even his teammates are feeling the effects of it, pero shocks. Napakagandang lurk. Nandito na siya sa secret. And if he can find itong si Device, and that could be huge. Quick scope para dito kay Device. 33 seconds left though. 33 mm -hmm. HP na lang dito si Zaibu. 
Ooh, alam yata ni Shaq kung asan dito si Device and he's gonna peek out and that's gonna allow Zaibu to just run into the site. And kailangan hmm. maganda ang play dito ni Shaq. He's gonna have to protect itong si Zaibu or Zaibu. You can play the first contact dito sa site and late rotate lang dito si Shaq. And it's yeah. up. Time na lang to. May pop flash pa dito si Plopski. He can uh, use it. Kada na position nga lang ni Zaiwu. It's very important. Oh no! Zai <laughs> get it! Zaiwu gets rest. Time is ticking. Time is on the pressure. Plopski, what do you want to get shocked? He has the kit. He goes for his defuse. Pero shocks. Nalaro laro na lang niya to. And I think that's it. You need to save it. Oh man. He still gets Plopski. Sigaw na sigaw. Mga French boy, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Calm it down, uh, man. Take a look. Map one, palam, bro. Map one, palam. I know you, uh, you guys are winning it on map one. It is the pick of NIP, but you gotta calm it down a bit. But really good play, galang dito sa vitality, and I think it's a bit of mistake galang dito rin kay Rez, who was trying to get control dito sa my uh, dito sa my rafters, but he dropped down, giving Zaibu free information, and once again, the clutchest player of all time. Dinagdagan nena naman ng isang clutch. I think it's around 650. 650 clutches and counting para dito kay Shocks. So, yeah. Uh, really lucky that Vitality is... Uh, Vitality has Shocks right now kasi these clutch moments are really saving Vitality from really bad situations. And NIP, in a bad situation, ngayon, na napa-force sila. Deagles, CZ, and uh, Device with that scout. I know he can hit with it, but against 5 AKs or not 5 AKs 4 rifles and a Mac 10 looking rough para sa kanya and uh, that itself napaka importante sa NIT noon pero nga lang shutdown na lang sila ng vitality apat na lang oh oh Rez gets shocked through the smoke that's pretty important for them to decide on next space and lansi nga lang nakuha ni Misuta device gets rid of that and they will be denied but oof May pag-asa pa dito at ang NIP sa 3v3 still. Pero nga lang pagdating sa mga barrel, napakalaki kagad ng advantage ng Vitality mm. and Apex Caesars. Yan ang sinasabi ko. I really do think. <gasps> How did oh, Zaiwo? How did he live? Eh, yun ako po. I think, ano talaga, may 9 lives ang Vitality ngayon. <laughs> no, si Zaiwo lang yung may 9 lives at this point. Cause, <laughs> so I have no idea how that guy is alive. Pero device, yun, skin device. AK? Go inspect it, go inspect it. <laughs> so, makita yung stickers eh. Parang ang ganda ng stickers. It's, I think it's a USB white out na factory new. Tapos, di ako sure sa stickers ah. Di ako sure sa stickers. It's something pink. Alright, Ray is looking at the Steam market right now. Uh, Say, USB white out factory new. Ano ba? Oo nga, oo. Kung nandito si Gab, kung nandito si Gab, he would just be like, alam niya na agad yan. <laughs> Aganda eh. Sorry, na distract kami pero alam naman natin na pala. <laughs> oh my god. Uh yeah, USB white out. You know, mura lang yan kay Reno ka ba? Ano naman? 10k Delibre wala barya lang yan kay Ray, guys. Seryoso? Guys, barya lang yan kay Ray, trust me. Hindi nga. Anong ano pa nga? It's 10k factory new, USB white out. What? Pero you can I think yung mga minimal wear less yata, less mahal. Yeah, oh, sure. $13. Mga, mga ganun, $13. Ano, P250 to eh. Wait. <laughs> Ayun, 700 pesos yung USB whiteout. Oh! oh. Ay, akala ko si Device nakatama dito. I just saw red health bars dito sa left. Pero Apex nakapasok na nga dito. Or shocks pala. But Rez is gonna prevent him to even go near dito sa secret. And LNZ with a USB in a dream. And Vitality. Mukhang gusto nilang pumasok dito sa site. Sa Ivo, nakakita ng isa dito sa ramp. And I think if pumasok sila dito sa A-site, it's not much resistance coming sa NIP. Other than kay Plopski and kay Device. With that USB, the spray is gonna go through Apex. Wall bagging dito. Nakuha na nga ni Misuta si Plopski and Device. And Rez gonna get two. Pero Zaibu Apex sasagot agad. And now it's a 2v2. No access to the AKs ang mga ibang players dito ng NIP. Pero meron na sila ngayon. They're gonna drop down. Mag Kukuha sila ng mga AKs dito. Pero Vitality... They are gonna get the plant down. I think kung pinlanta lang yata ng Vitality dito sa A-site, this would have been a safer bet. But now they are gonna have to deal with an NIP squad. Wala silang armor. So, 
aim punch ang pinipray dito ng Vitality. Pero, uy, Apex, onting spam lang. LNC, if you find itong si Apex, then that would be a crazy thing. Pero dalawang off-angle lang ginamit dito ng Vitality. And that's gonna result in two kills. And two points na lang. Vitality. I mean... I think uh, hindi naman yata nag-force buy itong NIP. I only think na nag-half uh, buy lang sila dito. So, they might just go into a buy dito sa next round. But, yeah, Vitality inching ever so closer toon nga sa ating 16. And, yep, they're gonna have a full buy dito sa round na to. But, MP9 on Plopski. Up on device. Way healthier mm -hmm. buy. And, Jesus Christ, shocks that just got destroyed. <laughs> But the pub, bomb, come back, pa, like black peak, and looks like half was gets apex. The three left part of the side of vitality. And if you're gonna be putting that up on device, here's really on point. Uy, he misses it, pero nga lang, bisuda gets two, and this is pretty winnable. One para pass the para pass the side of vitality. Walang pera at olang NIP for the next round. Da kahit mga glass bonus yan, napakasakit pa rin yan. But oof. Ah, uh, naku po. Sayang yung ginawa na Ellen. Tsaka na device. He missed that. It could have been better, but at oh? least... Uh, oh no, Zaiwu unstoppable. We only have Hampus. Low si Misuna together with Zaiwu. He can still get this with the off-angle spray. Na naman! Oh, okay. Zaiwu Zai was too good. kill! Zaiwu was too and good. And that's it. Oh my god, Zaiwu is really too good. I thought that was gonna be a win para dito sa NIP. Not gonna lie, earlier this round... Really didn't have the best start para dito sa Vitality, but Misuta and Zaiwu doing in work para dito sa Vitality. And this was a good attempt, galing sa NIP. I thought mamamatay nga dito si Zaiwu, pero Zaiwu doing Zaiwu things na naman. And 15 to 5, Plopski, medyo kinakabahan na dito. Uh, no? I think uh, taas, reset na sila. Baka nandun yung sagot. Reset na lang <laughs> siguro. <laughs> Oh my god, oh LNZ, oh no, I just noticed Oh, oh, I, oh, I think it's over eh. I think it's yeah. over. Yeah, I think reset na sila. Mag uh, next map na sila. Napinili, Guys, save na kayo for next map. Ah, napinili ng Vitality yung overpass. Pero kapag NIP overpass, I, I'm pretty confident about how they would be resetting na lang talaga. It's really important for them to have that. Um, sobrang ano eh. Kailangan talaga nila mag uh, full buy na on the mm -hmm. previous round eh. Kasi kapag... Uh, Nag save pa rin sila. I mean, you don't want to give that to Vitality. So now or never. So, yep. Medyo flex Pero... to ah. Di nag-op si Zaibu buong game. Mm -hmm. Tama, pa parang medyo flex lang. You know, parang sabi May, niya, I can beat you with flex. an AK-47. Pero, Is she a weird flex? <laughs> considering na overpass yung next map, no? I think may higing problema ngayon ng NIP kung paano nila i-handle yung op ng, uh, ng Vitality dito on Zaibu. But Molotov, uy, Hampus is gonna die anyways. It's a uh, boy, so... Not much achieved para dito sa NIP. This could be a possibility though. I mean, 3v2. Now it's a 2v2. Device making it possible. Misuta is gonna go for the push. And Device gonna go down. LNZ is gonna get deleted by Kyojin. Grabe naman yun. Instant headshot. And 16 to 5. Great start para dito sa Vitality. And this is the performance that I expected galing sa kanila. Especially, it is coming into land. And they have the three best land players on their team in the name of Zaiwu Shocks and Apex. And yeah, comfortable start para dito sa Vitality. I mean, it's really big sa kanila on that first start itself. Alam ko na eh. Kapag tikit yung laban na yung first half, um, siguro may possibility pa ng NIP na maipapanalo nila. Even this was their map pick. When you, when you take a look in the map details, look uh, overpass and the mirage alam mo na that's gonna be depending on the first half itself and the fact that it was a vitality big lead tapos on those rounds na kailan na to turn pa ng tables just because Zyber is really popping off sobrang hirap talaga para sa NIP reset na lang sila talaga nung nakita ko ng 13 and 14 lead na ng vitality all I can say is that bawi na lang talaga sa next map Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think para naman dito sa NIP, I think they're really lucky that itong si Vitality, they did pick the overpass map. Na meron naman silang chance to fight back into that one. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Pero Vitality is still one of the best overpass teams dito. Shox is the master of connector and the master of just lurking on the map everywhere. And Apex can do the same if he wants to. Pero I think the biggest thing para dito sa Vitality is 
Um, itong si Zaiwu, he's probably gonna pop off with the AWB. Dito nga sa overpass, it's his favorite map to op on. And daming long range battles that he can take advantage of the op of. And yun nga, map one is over. NIP got destroyed to say the least, guys. Wala nang, wala nang sugar coating. They got destroyed that game. So let's mm -hmm. see how they recover dito sa ating second map. And uh, guys, we're just gonna take a short break. And when we come back, more CSGO action coming at ya. What can you These are those moments I don't think anybody else is going to forget. Steel Series, we solve problems. Not climate change level problems. Sorry, future generations. Video game problems. Like when gamers communicated by taping microphones to their faces. Seriously? So we had an idea. Attach mic to headset. The gaming headset was born. Sounds good, right? Well, yeah, but not as good as it could. So we brought high fidelity audio to gaming. We didn't do it for the awards. We did it so you could get immersed in your games, hear bad guys better, and shit yourself when you get shot at. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. Imagine being a 90s gamer kid and these are your options. A mouse with one button. Your dad's mouse. Thanks for nothing, dad. A mouse you got free in the mail. The only consistency you had was consistently missing shots. So at SteelSeries, we got to work on improving the gaming mouse. Pixel perfect precision was finally in play. But aim isn't everything. You also need brain. We were the first to onboard an ARM chip, letting you tweak performance settings and save them to your mouse. Then we added a liftoff sensor for complete vertical control. True one-to-one -one tracking was born. Your hand equals your aim. If you suck, that's a problem we can't solve. If it's your mouse, that's one we can. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. Series, we solve problems. Not climate change level problems. Sorry, future generations. Video game problems. Like when gamers communicated by taping microphones to their faces. Seriously? So we had an idea. Attach mic to headset. The gaming headset was born. Sounds good, right? Well, yeah, but not as good as it could. So we brought high fidelity audio to gaming. We didn't do it for the awards. We did it so you could get immersed in your games, hear bad guys better, 
and shit yourself when you get shot at. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. Imagine being a 90s gamer kid and these are your options. A mouse with one button. Your dad's mouse. Thanks for nothing, dad. A mouse you got free in the mail. The only consistency you had was consistently missing shots. So at SteelSeries, we got to work on improving the gaming mouse. Pixel perfect precision was finally in play. But aim isn't everything. You also need brain. We were the first to onboard an ARM chip, letting you tweak performance settings and save them to your mouse. Then we added a liftoff sensor for complete vertical control. True one-to-one -one tracking was born. Your hand equals your aim. If you suck, that's a problem we can't solve. If it's your mouse, that's one we can. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. At SteelSeries, we solve problems. Not climate change level problems. Sorry, future generations. Video game problems. Like when gamers communicated by taping microphones to their faces. Seriously? So we had an idea. Attach mic to headset. The gaming headset was born. Sounds good, right? Well, yeah, but not as good as it could. So we brought high fidelity audio to gaming. We didn't do it for the awards. We did it so you could get immersed in your games, hear bad guys better, and shit yourself when you get shot at. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. Imagine being a 90s gamer kid and these are your options. A mouse with one button. Your dad's mouse. Thanks for nothing, dad. A mouse you got free in the mail. The only consistency you had was consistently missing shots. So at SteelSeries, we got to work on improving the gaming mouse. Pixel perfect precision was finally in play. But aim isn't everything. You also need brain. We were the first to onboard an ARM chip, letting you tweak performance settings and save them to your mouse. Then we added a liftoff sensor for complete vertical control. True one-to-one -one tracking was born. Your hand equals your aim. If you suck, that's a problem we can't solve. If it's your mouse, that's one we can. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. Steel Series, we solve problems. Not climate change level problems. Sorry, future generations. Video game problems. Like when gamers communicated by taping microphones to their faces. Seriously? So we had an idea. Attach mic to headset. The gaming headset was born. Sounds good, right? Well, yeah, but not as good as it could. So we brought high fidelity audio to gaming. We didn't do it for the awards. We did it so you could get immersed in your games, hear bad guys better, and shit yourself when you get shot at. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. Imagine being a 90s gamer kid and these are your options. A mouse with one button. 
Your dad's mouse. Thanks for nothing, dad. A mouse you got free in the mail. The only consistency you had was consistently missing shots. So at SteelSeries, we got to work on improving the gaming mouse. Pixel perfect precision was finally in play. But aim isn't everything. You also need brain. We were the first to onboard an arm chip, letting you tweak performance settings and save them to your mouse. Then we added a liftoff sensor for complete vertical control. True one-to-one -one tracking was born. Your hand equals your aim. If you suck, that's a problem we can't solve. If it's your mouse, that's one we can. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. At SteelSeries, we solve problems. Not climate change level problems. Sorry, future generations. Video game problems. Like when gamers communicated by taping microphones to their faces. Seriously? So we had an idea. Attach mic to headset. The gaming headset was born. Sounds good, right? Well, yeah, but not as good as it could. So we brought high fidelity audio to gaming. We didn't do it for the awards. These are those moments that I don't think anybody else is going to forget. At nagbabalik ang IEM Fall 2021. Sorry, natawa lang noon. I saw a beam doon sa kabilang screen ko. Pero game 2 na nga tayo dito sa ating NIP versus Vitality Series Vitality. To say the least, dinestroy nila ang NIP dito sa kanilang sariling pick, which is ang Nuke. And yeah, I mean, convincing na win para dito sa Vitality Apex was basically on fire the whole game and the rest of the squad doing in work and... Yeah, pukang maganda ang uh, shape dito ng Vitality going into this series NIP. Medyo nahihirapan pa ng onte, so maybe they can get a start dito sa second map. But considering nga na pick ito ng Vitality, this could be a bit of trouble galing sa NIP. But so far, sa three maps na nalaro nila for the past, you know, few months. Medyo matagal-tagal na rin bago sila mag- uh, bago sila nag-overpass the last time. I think last time nag-overpass sila nung IEM Fall Europe. 16-14 uh, against Skade then not the best scoreline para dito sa NIP not gonna lie so Vitality in a position to win para manalo dito ng 2-0 but NIP if you guys can show up dito sa ating map 2 in overpass and knowing itong NIP they're probably gonna start itong CT side kasi meron nga silang choice of sites dito kasi from what I've seen dito sa stats 70% tignan nga natin ulit to 70% ba? That's not a good stat, especially sa overpass. Kung masyado kang reliant sa isang mm -hmm. side ray. Kung ito nga, 66.67% ang panalo nila dito sa CT. And sa kabila naman, yeah, it's more balanced para dito sa Vitality. Parehong potent ang kanilang T side at ang kanilang CT side. So, might be a little bit of trouble para dito sa NIP. Especially the, the momentum that these guys had coming in from Nuke. Sabi mo nga, di na tayo mag- 
Hindi na tayo magjo-joke-joke pa. It's really a one-sided uh, matchup earlier on. But let's see. Kung paano nga ba makakapag-grease at ang uh, NIT, I'm sure naman at least they still have what it takes. Siyempre, going up against uh, Vitality. But uh, on the other side, si Team Vitality kasi, di ba last time na nakita natin sila going up against uh, Navi, lahat nag-expect coming in from them. Pero sobrang, na, it was a heartbreaker, really. I was expecting that there's a team na nasa form ngayon, na finally, matatalo na nga ang... Uh, Navi, but I guess Navi still have uh, talaga yung power. Pero sa tingin ko talaga, kung nag-shave lang si Rez, siguro mananalo talaga yung NIP. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think kung, yeah, kung nag-shave lang si Rez, this would be yeah. totally quit para sa NIP. Pero, like, nakita na natin no, kahapon, Ray, or kahapon mm-hmm. ba yun, nung kinas natin NIP? Isang araw. Movistar, ay, nung isang araw, nung stress na stress na si Ray kasi nga nag-game 3 ang Movistar Riders at ang NIP. Let's be real here. NIP, you know, pinanalo nga nila ang last series na yun against Movistar Riders. Pero naging sign yun eh. Naging sign yun para sa kanila that hindi pa sila 100%. This is not the NIP that we are used to seeing na definitely number 6 sila sa mundo na form. Right now, parang mga world rank number 15 yung laruhan nila. Especially after that, Nukas. And especially after that loss dun nga sa Ancient against Movistar Riders. So that could be a huge blow para dito sa NIP. and I mean, let's see. It. It's just an uphill climb para dito sa NIP. Not gonna lie. Kasi yung form nila ngayon is not really looking too good. I agree na yun nga yung medyo siguro at the same time kasi taas na expectations natin sa kanila. Siyempre, nag-improve naman sila. But uh, ano na bang world ranking ng Astralis on the other hand? Kasi nga, may kita natin sila going up against ends. Pero sige, habang inaanap ni Sticky, this is a new, different uh, story sa side ng uh, NIP. So, I hopefully, magiging maganda yung start nila ngayon. Dahil nga, ang Vitality talaga, they're quite scary. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, Astralis number 8 in sa mundo. Oh. And NIP number 6. Should be changed, not gonna lie. Yeah. Pero, I guess we can agree that FaZe is totally number 7. Parang, the best thing to describe FaZe is... Worse than NIP, better than Astralis. Ta konti lang, pero magkupush tanga ang mga members dito na Vitality. And yun ang connector is the play of the game para dito sa Vitality. And Misuta instantly taking out Plopsky. Not good news para sa side ng NIP. Rez magkisa kana lang dito on 3 HP. And Zaibu is gonna finish you off. Kyojin is gonna get LNZ. And oh my god, Vitality. This this could be the sign. This could be the sign, Ray. Kasi Considering na NIP nga, no, yung stat na 66% ng kanilang rounds na yung nanggagaling dito sa CT, not the best start para sa kanila. And Vitality, starting things strong dito sa first round. Ay, naku. Oh. Alaming signs of life na yung Vitality. Pero NIP, paano kaya talaga sila makakatayo ngayon? But uh, here it is. Siya na nalo Ents versus G2 kahapon? Of Ents course, Ents, Ents, of course. Ah, oh, ako. nanood, nanood, nanood ako. Oh, 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 oh. 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 ako, pero mamaya na lang yan. Pero Apex will be punished G2, G2 by Divide. Hindi namin kilala yun, hindi namin kilala yun. Alam mo, alam mo, kanin, dati ko pa sila sabi, mag-re-roster na sila. <laughs> <laughs> Bring Kenny S back, guys. Yung talaga yung solution. Oh, besuta do. Akala ko yung op yun yung pala. Baga lang ng draw ng scout. Pero device namin niya natag dito with the scout. And if makatag pa siya ng isa, then that's good news para sa NIP. Madami silang mababawasan dito. Pero Rez pushed up all the way dito sa my 8 long. Is it gonna help the cause of NIP? Let's see. Not really sure. <laughs> Not really sure. But if at least device gets another shot, sobrang maganda na yun na sobrang makakay ngayon. NIP ngayon with the numbers game. Oh, the timing. Ares. Ganda na sana ka. So, alam mo naman, Zai Wu on point. Shoutout sa'yo, Dennis Gumabon. Pero this time, device, uh, if he'll be able to get at least talaga sa short. Pero, mag-rotate na ngayon ang vitality. Pero meron pa, hapos, get the perfect timing, then it's gonna be favoring your teammates. But as we see also, mapupunta sila ng connector. Ay, naku po, sa Rechi tamin yan. Naku, nanilig niya. And he gets one. And he gets two. Ooh. That is it. Why is this treatment? <gasps> and I will get LNZ. Pero nga lang, he's only the man left. He gets oh! one. He's going to the 1v2. But he's at the top. 
He gets it up against the vice. Hapus na lang kagad na natitira. 1v1. Zaimu is a madman right now. A king of AKs. And he's already expecting oh, it. He gets it up the top. And he pops the flash. Still, who's gonna get this? Oh, Zaimu. Ang init mo. Even without the top. He's playing the mind games. He's already oh, here. As to where Hapus is. Oh, no. Hapus. Oh, Ayang. Jesus Christ, Zaimu. <sighs> Oh my god, Zaiwo, don't do that to us. Grabe. The almost clutch galing dito kay Zaiwo. A disaster of a start para sa side ng Vitality. Di nila alam kung saan titigin dito sa baka NIP members. They get the first round para dito sa side nila. But Zaiwo, that was a close effort galing sa kanya. But that tap doon sa heaven, that was extra nasty. I need to see that again. And ay nangyari dito kay LNZ. Inuna niya muna dito yung nag-push before going back kay Zaiwo. But that one tap on the vice, so... Perfection galing sa kanya. So alam, at least alam natin na mainit si Zaibu. Para sa side ng Vitality. And Apex, don't have to worry man. God carry Zaibu is gonna find a way para dito sa Vitality. But NIP though, really good job. Close quarters with those Deagles. And that is what you're supposed to do with those uh, upgraded pistols. Nga, kasi Deagles, two shots lang to the body pag palapitan. Buti na lang na NIP yun. Or else, and Device gets a tap against KOJ but means the good trade coming right up but when it comes to the utilities kita kita mo naman empty handed ang vitality as Hampus sees also Zaiwo and mag audition sila oh no he gets Hampus still EB3 it's all about the modi na lang maawak hawak ni Bisuta but a shocks behind the scenes ginagapang na tong short pero na itata siya ni Plopski goes with a wall bang gets tagged against shocks uy LNC tumama ka naman Oh. Ah, yan ang sinasabi ko. Pag may tech na, napain. Possible pa rin para may panalo nga ito ng Vitality. But syempre, NIP, mas maganda ang kanilang mga baril. Kumuha na ka pala ng famous ngayon si Shox. 9 HP, but the numbers game, syempre, advantage nila. Mm -hmm. And yeah, NIP losing 3 members in the process. Vitality punishing the overextensions galing sa NIP. At ka nalang, hindi ko, I wouldn't imagine myself saying that. NIP getting punished for overextensions. It's not the... Not really a common thing para dito sa NIP to go for those aggressive strats unless nga si Hampus or si LNZ with those really close angles. Pero Rez with that AK-47. If he gets taken out immediately dito sa site, this could be trouble. 26 HP na lang siya and he's gonna get swinged on by... Oh my god, he's gonna live barely. Shucks with that FAMAS is a big threat. Pero one person taken down para sa side ng Vitality. Onting spam galing kay Apex. Pero Plopski with the timing dito sa may dumpster area. Shucks na lang natitira with that FAMAS and 5 seconds left. Faking the plant and is gonna get Ferrari peaked dito kay Plopski. And 2 to 1, NIP. Yan na, getting the lead for the first time in this series sa overpass and ayun na nga, signs of life sa city side dito ng NIP but Vitality, you know, taking down some members here so baka medyo broke pa ang mga NIP members natin dito. Pero if the second time na mag-extend na, mag-overextend tong uh, NIP, feel ko kala nila tigil-tigilan yun. They all know that round could have been sa side ng Vitality. Bruto na lang Rez was able to save the day. But on the other side, the device, he gets an information as to where these guys are. Oh, all of them. Oh, okay. Kita niya. Nag-cross. So, ayan. Natuto na sila ngayon, Sneaky. Coach Sneaky. <laughs> but, uh, Rez. Okay. Device sa party. He gets one. He gets three. But, oh no. Sabi ni Zaiwo. No, oh, Zaiwo with the M4. Oh no. But, ah, okay. Okay, ang ganda ng hold ni Rez din dito. Na-expect na din nila kasi that lugi na din. Wala din utilities kayo. Ang Vitality only have shocks left. And Plopski will be finishing him out. Okay, yeah. City side, the first half. Para kapag nandiyan ang um, NIP team ko talaga, it's gonna be favoring them. So it's really helpful when they start sa CD. Kasi nakakagin sila ng momentum eh. Yun talaga yung meron sa kanila. Pero nga lang, syempre, di pa rate na nasa... CT sila on the first half, so they really need to improve on their T side more. But uh, knowing Team Vitality, they're all on an o AK now. And uh, the fact that Zai, who could have won that second round earlier, we're gonna be seeing more out of him. Hmm. Kakabahan ka talaga palagi, no? Pag nakapick up ng rifle itong uh. Zai, who, it's always a possibility of a super play from the best player in the world. Pero Kyojin... Is gonna take down device. That's a good start. Yung ang overextensions ang hinahanap dito 
ng vitality. But that was just a pu purely a pre-fire dito sa my party area. And I'd be losing one. Not the best news. So now they're gonna have to play, you know, really, really close. And I think kailangan nilang smoke ang monster area. Pero Zaku with a really good headshot. Pero LNZ with close quarters, MP9. And that was where the SMG flourish says a malapitang battle talaga and LNZ and Plopsky just gonna finish everyone off it was a really good attempt calling aside the vitality they had the start but they did not have the finish the sana ginawa ni Zai pero on the other side kasi ng map eh, we have LNZ kung ayaw mo talagang magkaroon ng roster changes <laughs> kaya talaga bumawi ni LNZ kasi earlier sa nook he didn't perform well, but at least he bawi bawi. But dito on the YouTube part, rooting for NIP for both the tournament and major. Of course, it's still NIP that we're talking about here. These kids, they still have a lot on what it takes, of course, to be the champions. Pero marami silang kakainig bigas and save round for vitality this time around. Pero when it comes to the save round, with just some digs, sobrang posible pa rin na pwede nilang makuha to. Pero wala kasi silang armor. So, uh, medyo, ayun na nga. I think, magkamali ako doon. Apex with the top gets device. Plopski, on the other hand, gets Chaz Rez ngayon. He will be a day king on Zaiwu. Pwede na silang mag-push aside oh, ng Vitality going towards A. Pero Hampus just gonna be waiting for them and delaying them with a the smoke. Oh, but Zaiwu has the AWP, so there's a possibility that he can do here on Vitality, but Rez preventing Apex from getting control here on long, but the peaks are gonna start to come in. Hyojin gonna get taken down, Nade. Can make them back off, but Misuta with a really good tap. Zaiwu with the up. Oh, one here si Rez, and that's gonna be one. And bomb secured for him, he can go all the way back here to B, or he has the choice of just staying in the base and going for that save. But si Zaiwu, just the right hand of Talon Knife first. Bago siya ang pumunta dito sa B, pero Plopski and LNZ, mukhang wala silang information dito. If uh, dumarecho dito si Zaibu papunta sa B site, then I think NIP would have no idea. And, oh man, considering it's Zaibu, this might be winnable ba? Galing sa Vitality. May parang ni Zaibu to, oh my god. He has gosh. an up now. So, pag ngayon di pa siya nanalo, then, yeah, Vitality might be in a little bit of a pickle, pero... Uy, tatakbo na nga sila papunta dito sa site. And I think itong si Zaiwo, he's gonna hold that heaven angle. Pero, short muna pala. I think, anong gagawin dito ni Zaiwo? What's the, what's the play para sa kanya? And I think magsistay lang siya dito sa long and gonna peek out dito sa short. And if di niya mahanap yung isang member dito ng NIP, then this could be big trouble para sa kanya. But the swings are about to come in. No. Oh, yun lang. I think yes. Zaiwo knows. Swing that's gonna be one LNT is down Plopski. If you're gonna go for the all the way peak, never mind. You think ah. stick na lang, but still, I think uh, wala naman mangyayari dito kay Zaibu. I mean, it's a lose, it's a lose lose situation para dito sa vitality nung start ng round na to, but at least they get an up dito sa kamay ni Zaibu. And I think ipapas nila lang to kay Shocks, if I'm not mistaken. Pag di sa dalam kong. Mas uh, prefer ni Shox mag AWP eh, pero yeah we'll just have to wait and see and mo si Zaibu already picked up that AK alam niya na eh. alam niya na that he doesn't have to deal with that AWP and the timeout galing dito sa vitality may pera pa naman si Zaibu so may pang drop siya sa kanyang teammate at mo kang oh, never mind he's gonna stick to the AWP interesting galing dito sa vitality since pumaparo naman siya I think that's pretty helpful pero dito nga pasok na ba phase uh yeah yeah i think yeah alam ko alam ko pasok na yung fees god carry zai we is he is the god lang. carry pero tignan namin na baka ma fake this kami kung pasok na yung phase but uh, looking aside here nip okay device with an op still carries but this boost itself daibu ay wala aware ang nip that we have zaibu with an op already because he was able to save it mm -hmm. Uh, challenger status right now ang um, phase, but that could change since you know they could play by the tournament and uh, yep, they could yep, get yep, taken yep. over by Copenhagen Wolves, Team Fiend, or Movistar Riders. The three tier two teams that are in the fifth to fourth place or fifth to sixth place decider, so it could really shift into not in the favor of phase clan, but Rez with a really good angle dito sa my tree, but he gets caught out immediately. Dito sa long and Hampus has to back off all the way to on the site. 
And Zaiwu, with that AWP, meron ng control dito ang Vitality, but shocks. Ooh, if he spots one dito sa my short, this could be huge. And Plopsky is gonna go down. The Lurks is not working out para dito sa NIP, and they're just losing members everywhere dito sa mapa. And Hampus is gonna get spotted. Hindi na napansin yung ulo doon sa jump spot. And Kyojin with a really easy swing. And the dalawa na lang para sa NIP. And Vitality looking... Looking like they might get this round back, pero device na andun pa rin sa my WC na area. He can make a big play with that AWP, and if he na catch out dito si device, then big trouble. Pero Zaiwu, he knows, he knows. Alam na alam niya that device was gonna go for that play. This guy is on another level in terms of reading plays against NIP. LNZ is gonna take down Kyojin, but not much more. And Zaiwu, for a good decision nga that siya yung mag up dito sa T side and. Uh, yeah, 5 to 2, Vitality. Really good play, galing sa kanila, but this entry, kung hindi nila nakuha yung entry na to, they're gonna struggle in taking that long position, but daming uh, unlucky stuff na nangyari dito sa nip eh. Pero dapat, ewan ko, nag-extend na naman sila masyado. Sa tingin ko lang, yun lang din yung naging problem nila. But at least, uh, we're seeing Team Vitality under T side getting life once again. But as we have a mo match boss, oh, please lang, ah, huwag yun na po gawin yung kahap. Oh, no. <laughs> Ay, tulog sila, Kenneth. Alam ko, 7 a.m. kukuha pa daw siya ng kape, sabi nila doon sa GC. So, ibig sabihin, <laughs> mas mahaba ata yung stall time. <laughs> yeah, natulog na ako after game 3, not gonna lie, kasi I already knew that Enz was gonna win. Yan talaga yung mga... True ends fans, guys. You just sleep. Two zero, ba down. or they had a third map. Pa. Alam ko two zero, eh. Right. It's a two zero. I think they did. Yeah, they did great, destroy. Eh. Uh, they two one. I mean, pinigyan sa Mirage, or rather, pinigyan pala sa nung kasi ends. Sometimes you gotta give it, man. Sometimes you gotta give charity. Pero yeah, they finished it dito nga sa map in overtime. But by that, it's so looking for those picks and the device not flicking up fast enough. Apex is gonna catch him out. Shocks trying to get this entry going dito sa side. Pero LNZ takes him down. Plopsky with the corner. Yun lang Kyojin's gonna get him. What a good double kill para dito kay Kyojin taking down the rifler sa side. And NIP losing control once again dito sa B. And Vitality in a little bit of a streak dito sa ating uh, first half. And. NIP. Wala silang pambilis sa next round. Nag-force by sila dito. So, ego talaga ang NIP dito. I mean, this, this is a possibility na 5-4 to four na yung score dito ng Vitality. If they play the eco round well. Kyojin. I think that AK kill and tinapos na nga. 5-3. Vitality. Quick one galing sa kanila. And partida may AWP pa si Device doon. Unfortunately, he went up against Apex. Couldn't flick up fast enough. Vitality. Seal the round. And looks like uh, we have here side ng uh, Vitality Kyojin. Sobrang aggressive na niya. Nagiinit na talaga siya din ngayon. And once uh, he gets those uh, frags early on, sobrang, uh, mag, sobrang magsastruggle yung NIP ngayon. And speaking of all USB, but oh, magkakasama lang sila yan. Family sila this time around. I think that's a much better one kasi on a strategy when you just want to to take this one over vitality but it's quite dangerous at the same time because open open target and beat and they would just be going for a retake mm -hmm. and you know taps Kyojin. I think he knows exactly what NIP is trying to do dito sa long push. So they're gonna try to overwhelm him with numbers Molotov Ilalabas dito but they're gonna get the plant dito sa this side so the timer is now starting para dito sa NIP and good thing that pinunta dito sa Apex at T because this is the perfect weapon para mag-farm ng mga USB players. And let's see, Apex, are you going to get the swing? That's going to be the first one down. Plus 600 para sa kanya. Potential 1200. Pinig ka pa yung USB in between that fight. Alam niya talaga ng mapapanalo niya to. And Misuta and Shox finish the rest of them off. Plus 1200 para kay Apex. And plus 1 para sa round dito ng Vitality. 5 to 4. And gun by Paladito sa NIP. And right now, I think uh, the fact that the Vitality is uh, really on form, makabawi talaga sila, even if napapan siya lang. Kita ng ito mo eh. They know how to read the NIP. And gay ng sila ba ng nag comment kanina? They're just reading NIP like a book, possibly talaga, based on 
what they're doing and executing. They know how to take on the device. Kapag na-punish the device, it's gonna be giving NIP a harder time. Pero ngayon, hindi na siya naka op He's just going to be buying that M4A1S. <laughs> They try to take out at least one, pero wala pa naman kagad. They're starting it slow, but with this res extension, may makuha siya. Yep, he gets one, but shocks to Popski. Kobe gets in. 3v4. Kulang na kulang pa sa ibang utilities ang Vitality, pero same goes din naman with NIP. Kind of a well balance for both of the teams, but as they get this AK sa side ni Rez, I do think NIP might be getting this against Vitality. Mm -hmm. And yung... Pangit dito para sa Vitality. Nawala si Zaiwo and si Misuta early on. Yun yung dalawang players na gusto mo na buhay dito pang gusto niya pumasok ng site. And Apex is gonna go down as well. Kyojin, at least nagawa nilang 2v3. Itong situation, Kyojin and Shox, magro-rotate na pabalik ni dito sa peace site. And LNZ. Ako si LNZ pa. Ako si LNZ pa, Ray. Oh no, LNZ. Oh, no, 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 And, wait, mamatay na lang. Yun lang. NIP, really good rap around. Not gonna lie. Nang, nung nakuha nila si Zywo and si Misuta, medyo sealed na rin yung round. Buti na lang. <laughs> Kuha ng NIP because it's gonna be so um, disappointing pag hindi pa. Especially with LNZ. Binsan, he wants to try to go with the off angles. Pero kasi it's not working most likely when you're at the uh, B-site dito sa... Overpass, but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. for the side ng um, NIP, they're still gonna go with a timeout. Hmm, interesting, pero I think needed din naman kasi that they can talk about how Team Vitality goes in. Kasi ang daming pitas, na, practice na pipitasan ng Team Vitality, buto na lang yung mga ang course nila ngayon like Rez and Hampus ito talaga yung nabubuhay and LNZ at this this time around let's commend him na sobrang stepping up siya compared to what happened on the previous map but on the side of Team Vitality they need more hard carry ngayon si Zaiwu Apex he needs to snap out of it dapat hindi na siya magalit parati din siyang galit para siya si Majisk <laughs> Vitality though, nababawasan dito si Shox and I think Device is playing this really close corner sa may party area. Uy, magbaback off na lang siya dito sa long. He's gonna play it a bit safe. Pero pag nabuksan itong A-site ng mabilisan, naku, delikado para sa NIP. It's gonna, it's not gonna take too much para mag-rotate sila dito, pero if they're gonna give it like this, connector, Rez somehow gets Apex. Two tap to the ulo with that M4. Zywo with a quick trade on that op. Alam niyang may magpipik talaga dito. Pero device na andito sa long. He can take down Zywo. Walang nakatingin dito sa may WC. The quick trade. Not gonna happen. Yun lang. Smoke is gonna come out. Device once again. The spray! No, walang pa ng bala. Itong si Device. But Kyojin and Shox na lang natitira. 11 HP. Para kay Kyojin. Shox on 45. Collectively, they have 56 HP na lang. And that will only take four shots on the M4, even two for each member. And yun lang. Vitality. Na ubos dahil dito kay device. Oh no. What will happen this time around? But uh, seems like uh, they only have uh, these two flashes coming from Kyojin, but there's still a big possibility. You still have shocks. Siyempre, Clutcher Meister din yan, but he sees Popski. Oh no, the timing. Just gonna get to. Ah, uh, na-destroy na si Kyojin. Shocks na lang, going up against three. If it takes Popski, a winnable one. Unless, kumag dyan sa kanya, nasa ABC. And speaking of, LNG sees him right in. And after that timeout, a big step up is coming right sa side ng uh, NIP. I think na-figure out na nga ng NIP kung anong gusto nila gawin dito sa... CT side and it's really good news that they're, they're putting device dito sa my long angle kasi meron siyang opportunity na gumawa ng mga ganun na play pag nag na nga ang mga WC players dito he can make you know something happen kagaya nga ng uh, almost 3k kung hindi siya nawala ng bala doon then that would have been death para kay Kyojin pero yeah I mean NIP 
these plays, these multiple chain kills na nakukuha ng mga players dito is really paying off para sa kanila and Vitality, no ops naman. So, wala nang op para kay Zaiwo. Dire-diretso na with that AK-47. So, expect a really fast play galing sa Vitality and NIP. They're gonna have to be ready for it and... Ah, man, ngayon ko lang nakita yung economy ng NIP ngayon. It's still pretty bad despite being in the lead and... Three rounds na lang natitira sa half and if they can get much more dito then would be good news para sa kanila but uh, yeah, vitality. Uy, shocks na naman dito with a really fast short take and sakto yung smoke. Grabe naman si Hampus doon. Pero nga lang, uh, on the other side naman kapag nakikita mo, parating sinakuha na par ng early frags yung vitality and usually dalawa na lang kagad natitira or tatlo so that's pretty big and you know how expensive nga. Expensive ang CD, but Kyojin, talaga, is just gonna be so aggressive. He wants to take out this one sa Toxic, but instead, wala silang mapipig. He was very patient inside of it. And just by that, just by those flashes coming right through, looks like NIP is off to a really good momentum going up against Vitality. Pero remember, this is the first half. Napaka-importante talaga sa kanila to para mag-init. And Hampus also, he tries to extend an LNZ. Ang kita niya through the smoke. Kita mo si Plopski, di siya kagad nagpa-info sa may toxic eh. So, it's pretty patient dyan. Wala silang mas spray down eh. Mm -hmm. I think kung nahanap ni Zayu yung pick dun sa may WC na area, parang may... Pwede pa silang magawa with that power going into connector. So, yun nga, vitality. Pushing in dito sa may B area, tatlong NIP members ang naan dito sa B. Rest of... Uh, Vitality still. Nagahanap pa sila ng butas dito. But connector control, gonna be taken bit by bit para sa kanila. And if they can get this, magsasarado pa sila ng isang rotation point para dito sa NIP. Pero Plopski, gonna jump over. Pero hindi niya makikita si Shox. And pwede yan maging lack of information para sa side ng NIP if they do not see that there is a lurker na andito sa B-short. Pero device is gonna get pressed a little bit lang. Onting pressure lang galing sa side ng Vitality. Di yata sila mag overextend para dito sa may WC na area unless gusto gumawa ng play dito ni Misuta. Pero wala eh. It's still pretty calm, pretty slow play galing sa mga members ng Vitality. Mga lang. How will the guys of Vitality snap out of this? Kasi sobra struggle pa rin sila. Pero nakita mo lang doon naman yung puso. Pero... NIP kasi, sobrang ano sila eh. Hindi na yung katulad na hard carry. All of them are doing so better for themselves. And at least Popsy gets one. But you know what? Kyojin and Zyru is still alive and Apex gets against L and Z. They all know that it's the weaker link here in a short sa may B-side. But if I do the smoke, he gets Zyru. Oh, that was pretty lucky at a fin. Pero Device and Rez na lang natitira. They still have three flashes up ahead. Pwede pa nila gamitin ito if makakapita si Rez. Pero nga lang, ang ganda ng hold ng Vitality. Pili ko safe call na lang ito eh. Galing sa side ng NIP. I mean, it's really hard and the possibility of them getting a retake na nandito si Device sa heaven with that op. If he does fall, then that's an op loss para sa side ng NIP and mukhang mag-back off na lang sila dito knowing na meron namang silang economy going into the next round 4-350 para dito kay Device so pwede siya mag-drop ng M4 para sa kanyang teammate but Vitality they're still collecting rounds dito sa kanilang T-side and NIP you know on a timer dito sa CT side and that's it mukhang maganda na yung magiging entries nila those good calls coming in but Kailangan pa rin talaga mag-igib ng maraming points itong ang Team Vitality. If they get at least a 6, that's really big sa kanilang T-side because we all know how well-balanced it is for the both sides. And NIP, if I were you, I need to secure at least a double-digit score para lang talagang may pag-asa pa to take this map out of Team Vitality's hands. But as we see here, Zai was still with an op. Device still with an op na. It's the battle of the opers that we have. But the most important thing here is who's gonna get who moon as the early frag so that they can actually make a decision. And it's being off even if blinded. Device was really keen against Apex. And then yung sabi ko, diba? Pag si Apex talaga siya na shot down mo sa parating gusto niyang entry or whatever place that he wants to do. Sobrang tilter din talaga yun eh. And yeah. 
napakalaking tilter para dito sa Vitality if they are even trying to get oh but the time pag nagripit dito si Device he's gonna die oh no this could be the start para dito sa Vitality and what a flick pabalik dito kay Rez and yun na nga from a very unadvantageous spot para dito sa NIP naging advantageous para dito sa Vitality and ngayon 3v3 mahirap talaga para dito sa NIP kailangan nila bag separate ng isang members and kailangan pa yata ah, naku isa lang tao dito sa visa at least maganda yung angle dito ni LNG no? kita niya yung entirety of monster and pwede siya mag defend ng short galing doon nga sa kanyang spot pero mukhang A yata ang habol dito ng vitality and Hampus Ooh, getting that first kill dito kay Shaxx. Okay, maganda to. And, uy, Kyojin! Despite Ay, na bulag na kuha na dito si Hampos. Teka lang, 2v2 ang situation. Plopski. Nako, pag nag-peak ka, tas naku, nakita ka dito ni Zaibu. Delikato ka talaga. But Kyojin trying to get that plant going. And, oh, no! Vitality! Teka lang! Alam nila kung nasan si Plopski dito. Oh my god, take a look. Parang, wait lang, this is like a possibility para kay Plopski. If he does play it right, and pag nakuha niya si Kyojin dito, then that's good news para dito sa Vitality, or rather bad news pala para dito sa NIP. And yun lang naging 1v1 bigla. Zaiwo has a long angle as well. And makukuha niya nga dito si LNZ. That's gonna be a 6 to 8. Really clutch round para dito sa Vitality. Great adjustments galing sa kanila. Ah, that... Around itself, pero kasi alam mo na eh, Zaiwu is just gonna be waiting sa angle coming from short. Pero nga lang, he gets early frags and that's really big coming in from him. And that's what we're gonna be talking about right now. And the fact na sabi ko, if 6 sa Vitality, this is really big. Pero nga lang, may pag-asa pa rin sila to actually close this with a one round difference lang. Dahil kita ba naman yung economy ng NIP ngayon. Mm -hmm. And yun, vitality. Ganda ng uh, buy nila dito. So, napaka healthy. A single pick galing lang dito sa NIP. And this could cause the end of the round. And ito, Ray, no? 8 to 6. Kung kayo yung NIP dito, masasatisfy na ba kayo sa half with 8 to 6 when 66 of our 66% of, uh, of our rounds come from this side? So, vitality. Like, I don't know, man. Parang iba yung aura ng vitality ngayon. Gusto talaga nila manalo. Be honest, ang hirap eh. Kasi, kanina may pag-asa ni NIP, pero nga lang, init talaga ni Zai. We may, I mean, 18 to 8, the KD right now. Tapos si Kyojin din, he's so successful with his entries, even if Apex is being shut down. Ang dami mong poproblema yun eh. Sa Vitality, and we have here the Modi, pero walang masasaktan. Rez is still patient. Will he be able to take him down? And that's what I'm talking about. Zaiwu misses. Oh, he goes with a tech knife. He just saves the day. Up and oh, oh my god. And Mistuta became an eye opener. He gets him, but the vice still. He gets the frown. Plopski on a school stage. Finishes them out. My eco pa ata. Unless there will be a clutch coming from Apex. Hindi pa tapos, but the vice. Alam na kagad ng information. And still, they will be leading with three rounds against Team Vitality on the first half. Yeah, and Vitality, napakalapit na, napakalapit na. They had the buy. They had the buy, they had the nades, they had everything, pero NIP, they just hang on barely. Itong si Zaiwu, no, kung nakuha niya yung pick dito kay Device, that would have been a possibility na makapasok sila dito sa site. Pero Vitality, eh. Wala. I mean, we still got the six, I think, dito sa half, and NIP, you know, 9, 6. Wala kayong leeway. If ever nga, na manalo nga ng pistol round itong NIP, you still have to deal with a gun round dito against Vitality. Like you said, the sneaky, it's still, it's still big sa Vitality. Kaya nga sabi ko, it's still 6 rounds na pinanalo nila. But then, it's dangerous on the other side naman sa NIP, they're much better in CT, but the fact that it's really close against Vitality, they need to win the pistol, and maybe they can determine the pace that we have in overpass and the possibility that we're gonna be going and seeing 
first time around, namikita ko yung NIP playing in Mirage. Kasi usually, hindi talaga nila nalalaro yung Mirage. So, um, kadang mapakita, mapakita sa atin ng NIP how they play it actually there. I guess ito para sa NIP, no? Uh, they're gonna have to play the T-side of their lives. Kasi napakahirap talaga ng T-side dito para sa NIP. And considering that itong si Zaiwu, we're gonna expect him holding that AWP para nga dito sa Vitality. And the rest of the squad, alam naman natin kung gano'ng kagaling na gano'ng kagaling silang kumuha ng mga control dito sa mapa, especially sa connector. They really know how to close connector down and prevent itong mga T's na kumuha ng you know, the entirety of WC. So, hindi ito papadaliin ng Vitality for sure dito sa city side. Pero, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, NIP, I mean, NIP, sino yung, sino yung pwede mong i-rely dito sa NIP no, kung kayo yung NIP? So, pwede yatang si Hampus, of course. Siya yung entry fragger para dito sa side ng N NIP. So, tignan natin. Maybe pwede siyang uh, mag-lead ng cause para dito sa kanilang side. But Device can also, you know, do a little bit of entry, do a little bit of support. Alam mo mm -hmm. namang si Device, Ray, pag uh, kailangan na talaga siya na ngayon nag -e entry para sa kanyang mm -hmm. team. And uh, sa tingin ko talaga, kapag si Device na yung nag -e entry you all know na he's not working properly anymore. Pero I think it's not a bad uh, um, half coming right up sa side ng uh, NIP. But on the other side, to those who are wondering, you know, no, no, this is a Tagalog broadcast. So, <laughs> no medyo, ano, akalata nila, ay tayo talaga yung nagkakasas ni I, I, so, I, I, tr I tried explaining it to him, man. He won't listen. <laughs> Sabi, like Taglish is more common than you think, my guy. Tapos, no, not everyone speaks Filipino. It's a Filipina. So, shout out to our Cebuanos, dude. Like shout out to the homies from Cebu. In talaga, mga tropa natin. So, anyways, back to the game. Enough about chat. More about this one and NIP. Ano sa tigin mo yung pinakamalaking struggle nila other than kay LNZ Ray? And uh, tigin ko malaking struggle si. Aside from overextending, okay naman yung plano ng uh, NIP. Pero, minsan talaga, kapag uh, when you go with those extensions, sana man lang talagang really confident that you'll be able to take it out. Tapos, may, aside from the confidence, syempre, kailangan naging smart ka. But as we see here, I do think that if Hampus gets good entries, then uh, maybe, maybe this time around, the NIP might be taking this uh, map that was picked by Team Vitality. Mm -hmm. And yeah, NIP, yun nga ang nangyayari dito. They have nine, and Vitality has six, pero Vitality na sa kanila na ang mas favorable na side para dito sa overpass. And Misuta starting things off. Rez already out of the question para dito sa side uh, ng Vitality. Pero Plopski sasagutan dito si Zaiwu. Naging 4v4 bigla. Medyo stuck dito ang mga Vitality members. Hindi nila alam na meron na meron presence dito sa party. Pero hina ng B-side defense nila dito. Actually, si Hampus, pag nakita niyang walang masyadong tao dito sa B-side, this could be something. And shocks get tapped sa ulo. Immediate gush and NIP, babalik na yata sila dito sa B-side. Pero di mo yung connector. Ito na yung sinasabi ko, Ray. They're not letting NIP get connector control dito. And device, teka lang device. You could go huge para dito sa side ng NIP. Pero Misuta getting these kills very early on. Misuta getting to LNT is down. Hampus na dito pa rin sa my water area. Device nang gagaling sa likod. Misuta with a really good 3k. 4k actually dito sa round. And the defuse is about to come. Oh, Misuta with the ace! Dito sa first round then Vitality looking for heroes sa kanilang team and I think they found it dito kay Misuta. And umaalog-alog pa yung character, medyo kinakabahan pa yung tropa natin but what a pistol round from this guy and grabe talaga. It only takes one para dito sa Vitality na manalo ng round then 9 to 7 NIP. Nako NIP, you're in, a, you're in a bit of trouble. Not gonna lie. I mean Kung magko force spike kayo dito sa second round, understandable kasi gusto niyang kunin ulit yung round pabalik nga sa 8 nyo. Pero Vitality, very nice actually. Very nice start para sa kanila. And now they have upgraded weapons pero force spike na nga ang mangyayari dito sa NIP. 
They need to risk because eh. kapag di nila risk then it's gonna be so impossible for them to take a lot of rounds out of vitality. For those who are asking, City sided ba overpass? For me, for most of the games that we have casted, yes. So it's better talaga on the second half. Tapos ma ma well balance mo yung T side mo on the first half. So that's pretty incredible. And plus, we all know that vitality it's their specialty. But with that push, Plopsky gets Misuta. They're gonna be entering here in B side. And oh, see, see, nalang kagad na bumabagsak ang mga member ng Vitality. A high risk, high reward. And it's paving in sa side ng Vitality. Zai mo nalang kagad na natin. Oh my God. And the guys get sa top. Okay, NIP is back, I guess. Yep. NIP is back in the game. And yun nga yung risk ng second round force by. You could do stuff like that. And just overwhelm itong mga defenders dito sa my B side. And Zai mo with a FAMAS and a Dream. Mukhang isa-save nila lang to para sa kanyang team. And, yeah, device, paghahanap pa siya ng one dig dito. He has an MP9, but will prefer that pistol para dito sa long range na fight. And mukhang NIP, naghahanap pa sila ng dugo from any members galing sa side ng Vitality. But a really good risk paying off para sa side ng NIP. And that's it. Uh, ganda nung buy na NIP. But tapos, sabi niya, you won't be able to save that FAMAS. And despite them losing the pistol round, and we all thought that it might be Vitality winning a lot of rounds na by against, against uh, NIP. But still, kitang kita mo naman, it's remarkable on their T side. And that's what, and that's pretty scary. Eh, na ganto yung ginagawa ng NIP. Because Team Vitality, we might be seeing